Right, how you going guys? Here we are, 6th of June 2013. Detail on the mic and we on the iPhone. And what we're doing is describing why we're doing this. This is a part of a portal frame. A portal frame is what you use when there's no other bracing walls available. Because the walls, everything's so thin, there's like in this particular building, we have one post over there. We put this 300 PFC in there, another 300 PFC in there. The reason why is so you have no lateral movement. It cannot move that way. So it's a permanent brace. Uh, quite often they just bolt them down into the ground, onto the concrete. That's fair, but nothing as good as what this, they're a meter in the concrete. They're, they're not moving anyway. Uh, the reason why we made them like that, one, for us it's easier than bolt down, and two, uh, which it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen here, is that we have another portal frame above it. So this is actually two portal frames, one on top of the other. So any movement downstairs will be exaggerated quite a bit on the one upstairs. So I had 300s available, that's what we threw in. So we get rid of as much wobble as possible uh, on this portal. Uh, we'll show you more about the portal, but uh, right now Cameron's making the uh, beam that goes across the top. It gets welded on. Once again, uh, most fabricators, they bolt, use bolts, and bolt the whole thing together. But that's a lot of work to work out where all the bolts are going, make sure it all fits, and there's no very no room, room for movement in case the uh, thing doesn't work out where you want it. Where we fabricate on site, and we weld it all together, so uh, yeah, it'll go wherever we want it, and we're putting it where we want it. Because we're putting the posts, once we got the, the uh, posts in, we know where they are, so we can then do this, which is the engineer requirement to stiffen the beam. We have a plate, there's our C-channel, Right there, from there to there, that's where the C channel joins on. So this sits on top of that one over there, right there. Okay, and that gets welded all the way around. And Cameron's now doing the, the plates that hold the next uh, PFC, which is the uh, portal frame for upstairs. So what happens is the uh, portal frame, the frame goes from there up. So we've got a three meter post going on top of this up to the roof to catch another beam that goes across the top of that. So he's putting those in where they've got to go. There's our other gussets just there for this beam, this post. And then past that is our next ones for where the post is upstairs. So that's it, that beam is uh, 10, 450 long. 10 meters, 450 long, she is, I think 490 long. And we're going to put that up with the crane off the back of the truck uh, a little later on this morning, or today rather. It's really 11 o'clock. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. <laughs> Where are we? I'm getting in his way. So that's what we're doing there. We've already drilled for the bottom plates, for the timber, for the carpenters. We've drilled on the back here. Now that's got to be a, a piece of timber on the back to hold the floor joists for the deck. Because off the back of this, we have the, the uh, veranda, the deck, that goes out the back. And of course we need to hold that up. So on the back of this beam will be a uh, nailing plate, a pole plate for the uh, timber to sit on. And then we have drills here, holes here for the uh, nailing plate that goes on the top for the, door, for the uh, doors to sit on there. Because this actually goes in the same level as the floor joists. We have up here 300 floor joists going through from side to side along with this beam. So they go the same direction. And they're all situated on top of the walls that go across there. And load-bearing walls to catch the floor joists. If you do building, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I thought we'd show you what's happening with the portal frame. And these get welded in. So you can see there, this one's welded all the way around there. It doesn't have to be completely welded, just as long as it's got the welds to hold it. The idea is to stop the, the C-channel from crushing. So it's only got steel on one side, top and bottom.